it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. <laughs> As some of you guys might already know if you've been watching my channel for a while, I got married in August in 2019. Now, my wedding dress search was the easiest thing imaginable. I know some people, they look at many, many dresses and it takes them a very long time to pick. It hardly took me any time at all. Basically, I left it all very last minute. It was like two months, maybe three months before my wedding and my mother-in-law was like, have you got a dress yet? And I said, uh, no. <laughs> and she said, well, how about we go today and look at wedding dresses? So we went to the store that my sister-in-law got her wedding dress from, and I walked in and there was a dress in the window. And I thought to myself, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, aside from Archie. And anyway, I thought because it's in the window and it's on display, it's gonna be super expensive and I'm not gonna be able to afford it, so I'm not even gonna try. So I went in and the lady said to me, what sort of dress are you looking for? And I said, I want something that's kind of like magical elven, think Lord of the Rings. So think nature inspired with like leaves, lacy leaves, long sleeves. Long sleeves were a must for me because it was a winter wedding. So I really wanted long sleeves. So anyway, she picked out a couple. I tried on five. The first one I tried on, I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, well, this is it. This, this is definitely it. This is the nicest dress ever. I think this is it. I can stop looking. And my mother-in-law said, no, I, I think you need to look at a couple more. So we tried on a couple. I liked two of the five that I tried on. And I said, no, you know what? I'm gonna go with the first one. I loved the first one so much. And she said to me, Alex, don't you think maybe you should go to some other shops and have a look? And I was like, no, no, I'm, I'm not a fussy bride. This is fine. And I said, but you know what? Just, just for fun, before I leave, can I try on the dress in the window? And here's me thinking it's gonna be like $7,000, I'm gonna cry. So I tried it on. I came out of the change room, looked at myself in the mirror, started bawling my eyes out, and I knew, I knew in my soul that that was the dress I was going to wear. I just knew it. But at the same time, my wallet was like, no, you're not gonna be able to afford this, it's gonna be expensive. And I said to the lady through tears, I looked at her and I said, give me the bad news. And she said, it's $3,000. And I went, what? because that was the same price as all the others that I was trying on. Now that's 3,000 Australian dollars, which is probably, I don't know, 2,200 US dollars or something. And we had quite a budget wedding. I saved a lot of money on a lot of things. Like my bridesmaids dresses, for example, they were given to me for free by a company called JJ's House. So because I didn't have to spend money on bridesmaids dresses and I got a lot of decorations for free from JJ's house as well, I had a little bit more money in my budget. Now obviously $3,000, to me that is still a lot of money for a dress, but I justified it because I got a lot of things for free. But I know that there are people out there that really they have no budget for a wedding dress at all. Like they're young people or they're mums or you know, they're struggling financially, they want to look beautiful on their wedding day, they can't afford a lot of money for a dress. And that's where companies like Yes Style come, come in handy, or at least I hope, because these dresses I would say they're affordable I'll just circle back to my wedding dress story so it's really cute and I just want to finish it before I start trying these on so basically I was crying and then my mother-in-law cried and then she told me how much it was and then I cried even harder because I could afford it and I said I'm gonna take this one and then I thought no I can't pick my wedding dress without my own mum seeing it worst daughter in the world so I said to the lady I'm gonna come back tomorrow with my mum is that okay she said of course so then the next day I came back with my mum and I said to the lady, can you take out all the dresses that I tried on yesterday? I'm gonna try them on in front of my mum and I'm not gonna tell her which one I liked. And if my mum picks the same one I picked, then I know that it was meant to be. So I did the same thing where I came out in that first dress that originally I thought would be the one. And my mum went, oh, that's it, that's the one. That's gotta be it. You don't have to show me anymore, that's definitely the one. And I said, oh, I've got a couple of others. So I came out in a few more. The next one she went, no, that's not it. The third one she said, oh, maybe that could be it, maybe. The fourth one, no. The fifth one was the one that I ended up choosing. So I come out in the fifth one. And as soon as I walk around the corner, my mum goes, she started crying and then I started crying and then the lady started crying and then my dad he's a very stoic man he doesn't cry at anything he just stood there and smiled <laughs> but my dad came in and gave us all a bear hug and we were all like this is the one <laughs> so that's the story of my wedding dress so I only went to one shop now obviously it's difficult when you're buying online because that's a huge commitment to make without trying the dress on because you see the dress on the hanger or you see it in a photo and you think it might be right but then you try it on and it could be completely different. I think it's risky to buy a wedding dress online. So that's why I'm making this video for you guys, because at least if you get a chance to see me try it and I can tell you the quality and everything, 
you might have a little bit more security in your heart that it's going to be what you expect. Now I'll give you some of the logic behind the dresses that I picked for this particular video, but I do have a couple of other videos coming up with different dresses. So in today's video, in the Yes Style video, I picked dresses that I like. These are my style. So I understand other people, they might like sweetheart neckline, or they might like a ball gown, or they might like a mermaid cut or something. These are dresses that I would have picked for my own wedding based on the pictures. In my next wedding dress video, AliExpress, I'm doing an AliExpress wedding dress video, and I try on basically one dress of every style imaginable. Uh, and then I'll also do a wish wedding dress video. No, don't you, no. Nice couch. I'm talking about wedding dresses and I'm holding a bird turd. <laughs> one liter of boiling water later. So these are the dresses that I would have picked myself and based on the pictures they looked very promising. I picked them in different price ranges. So my original intention was to get one dress under a hundred, one dress under 200, one under 300, one under 400, and one under 500. Unfortunately, the most expensive one didn't turn up, so only four turned up. I couldn't actually get them exactly in the price ranges that I wanted, so I got closest two. Now, Tiasha is standing behind the camera there. She has all the price information in front of her, which she will tell us. And this is the order. We've got the cheapest, second, third, and fourth. So, without further ado, I know that's been a lot of talking, let's have a look at them first and I'll give you my first impressions and then I'll try them on. So dress number one, which I know is the cheapest dress. I can't remember how much it is, we'll find out later. Looking at this, look, don't think that I'm saying things just for the sake of uh, being nice to Yes Style because they gave me these for free. I'm being very honest with you guys. This one, it feels very light and it doesn't feel like it's luxurious, but at the same time, if I saw it on a rack, because I saw a lot of dresses in that shop that I went into on the day when I picked mine, this would probably blend in to that store. I wouldn't pick this out as, well, this is definitely from a different store, or this is definitely a cheap dress. This would probably blend in with more expensive dresses. But what you do start to notice when you look at it closely, there's a loose thread just here. There's a loose thread here. Um, and Alex, yeah. is that a black mark on the front? Yes, it is. I didn't even notice that. Okay, well, there you go. There's a black mark there. What is that? I don't know. It just, it looks like a, almost like an oil stain or something. That's not promising. That's not great. We've got some little loose fluff here, loose thread. I was worried the lace might be glued on because sometimes you see that with Yes Style prom dresses in particular. I've seen things glued onto them. The lace looks like it's properly embroidered. So that doesn't look like it's going to come flying off. Oh no, there's a tear in it here. Oh no. Lengthwise, I almost feel like with dresses you want them to be a little bit longer so that you can have them tailored. You can't expect to get a wedding dress that's perfect right off the bat, you normally need to alter it. And I would have liked to have seen this potentially a little bit longer because it's it's just sort of gracing the floor. So if someone was taller than me it would be way too short. On the back here, so we've got some buttons that actually don't do anything. Huh, look at that. that oh. These buttons are as useless as tits on a boy. The zip is like this, and then normally you would do the zip up and then the buttons would pull a across the zip. They would pull, pull it closed so you can't see the zip, but they're just decorative buttons. They don't actually do anything at all. So that's not so great either. I do really like this back here. I like that it's got these little eyelet things up here. So it's got an open back like that, but then it also closes. It closes across here. I do quite like that detail. I think that'll look really pretty at the back. It's got cups built in. I don't know how these cups are going to look on me. I'm very flat chested. It could look a little bit cavernous, a little bit hollow. Okay, we are not destroying the wedding dresses. From memory, this was only about $100. Tiasha, what is this one called? This one's called a lace sheath wedding dress by Angel Bridal. Ah, okay. And how much is it? US dollars, it's 106. <laughs> Same, Archie. Same. At Australian dollars, it's 155. Okay, for $150 for a wedding dress, that's a cheap wedding dress. So I can't be mad at the fact that there's loose threads. I'm kind of shocked that this is $150. I mean, I've paid $150 for like corduroy pants. So Lazy Oaf charges $150 for smock dresses. Until I get this on, at the moment, I'm going to say, potentially worth it, even with all its little defects. Having a look at dress number two now, what's this one called? Off-shoulder flower detail wedding gown by Fiorati. Fiorati? <laughs> I'm feeling the Fiorati. 
Oh god. Someone stop it. Why did someone marry me? <laughs> this one already off the bat, I'm not feeling anywhere near as good about this one as I did about that first one. I feel like the lace on the first one, it's kind of hard to stuff it up. But this, because it's got flowers on it, unless the flowers are quite nice, they do end up looking really cheap. And unfortunately, these flowers, they look cheap. Some of them have pearls on the inside, and some of them have the little diamantes. But unfortunately, from a distance, what it ends up looking like, because the pearl blends in with the flower, it looks like some of them have the diamante, and some of them, maybe from a distance, you might think the diamante fell out. Uh, can you see the pearl from where you are? No. Nope. Yeah. So, can you see that? Yes. So, I don't like that there's no consistency there. Also, these little flowers up here are a really ugly kind of shape. They've used something to cut these out, so they're all the same. Unfortunately, they didn't nail the shape. Also, all these little sequins and the little beads... Okay. If he does that one more time. The sequins and the little beads look very, very cheap. They don't feel luxurious <coughs> at all. So, from the front, definitely not loving the decorations and not loving these details on the sleeves. I feel like those flowers are classic Yes Style flowers. They are they? definitely classic Yes Style flowers. <laughs> on the back, it looks like we've got a lace-up back. So, uh, there's a zip at the bottom here and then it laces up. It's got a panel inside as well. It's got these stretchy little armholes here which I don't really like the look of those. They don't look so fantastic. It's very light as well, which isn't a bad thing. You don't necessarily want a super heavy wedding dress. This is the sort of thing where up close, this does not look great. With saying that, I am gonna do a follow up to this video where the wedding photographer that took my wedding photos, he's gonna come with me. We're gonna go out to like a classic wedding. We're gonna go out to a classic wedding photography location and we're gonna take some pictures because I'm interested to see if these dresses look nice in photos, even if they don't look so great in person. Because a lot of people, they just wanna look good in their pictures. If they've got a low budget, they don't mind if, you know, up close if it doesn't look so great because the pictures are the things that they're gonna remember forever and they want them to look nice in photos. So we're gonna photograph some of these cheaper dresses. We're gonna see if they photograph well because on Yes Style, the pictures look really, really nice. So, um, Anyway, that's that's the plan, but at the moment, this one I'm not feeling great about. This one to me, I would have said that this was like the $100, $150 dress. Even though I know it's not, P picking it up, I would have thought that the first one was worth more than this one. How much is this one, Tiasha? It's 169 US dollars and 245 Australian dollars. Ooh, yeah, right. Yeah, no. I. I don't know, see, one half of me is saying, Alex, you're being too critical, this is only $250, and it's a wedding dress. The other half of me is saying, wow, you're charging $250 for that. But I guess when you think about it, there is still a lot of fabric, there's probably a lot of work that goes into making one of these, so tell me what you guys think below. I definitely think the first one is better value for your money. Dress number three. It's actually the one in the front. Oh, is it? Okay. Dress number three, wow. I was assuming that was the really expensive one because that one's huge. So that's the most expensive one? Correct. Oh, okay. So dress number three, how am I going to pick that up? Look at this. Look at that. Help us. <laughs> that's, help me. That is a huge dress. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh. Huh. Hmm, off the bat, I see loose thread again. I don't like the coloring of this dress. You know, compared to these, these are very, very white. I actually think some of it's white, but then it's got this like cream colored detail that unfortunately to me just makes it look old. It makes it look kind of aged. It doesn't look like it's sort of executed very well. Uh, we've got a lot of beading at the top. The beading on this is way nicer than the beading hanging off this. I really like all these lacy, lacy details that have been beaded at the top here. It looks very sparkly and very pretty. The lace panel, I I think, are these glued on? Mm, I don't think they're glued on. I'm pretty sure these are sewn on, which is good, good to see. There's a lot of layers here. Layer number one is sheer with big lace panels. Layer number two actually is a really unusual, I don't even know what you call that. I actually kind of like that. that webbing? Webbing, yeah. So that's layer number two. Oh, which is actually attached to another layer layer three, then we've got layer four, we've got layer five, there might be another one in here, no. Get me one more. Which Maybe one more, layer there. six. Okay, there's six layers in this, which is creating a massive skirt. On the back, we've got a lace panel and then lace up, no zip here. So this is a, a, probably a step in, lace it up at the back, definitely need help with this one. It's got cups again, did this one have cups? That one did have cups, but 
they're nowhere near as structured. These ones, this bodice is very, very structured. Sorry, I can't, I just can't show you this one properly until I put it on, but this is so heavy. I reckon this would be 10 kilos or something. Like, the, I'm really struggling to lift this. What is this one called? This one is called Off Shoulder A-Line Wedding Gown. MSS bridal. I know this is probably the 300 and something dollar one. So it's 320 US dollars, which makes it 465 AUD. But I really like it. This is my favorite one out of the four. Is it? Yeah. For the amount of volume that is in here, I don't think I can complain about it being $400. I think $400 for literally all those layers and the very nice beading detail. Sorry to interrupt, this one comes with gloves and a veil. That might be why it's also. Awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think I would have worn gloves on my wedding day. Definitely a veil though, which is good. I'm glad this is here because it means I can try them all on with a veil. My veil ended up filthy after my wedding. We had like an outdoor wedding. I'm glad I put a clean one. I'll try all of them on with this veil. Okay, so I guess for $450, veil, gloves, massive dress that looks quite nice. My only issue with it was I don't really like the yellowing, but we'll see how it looks on. And now for the creme de la creme. Oh, this one's even heavier. Yeah. Which is weird because it doesn't look as big as that one. Okay, so this is unusual. On the inside, it's kind of like a... Uh, off. Yeah, it's off-white. It's almost got like a pinky kind of tinge to it. Sequins-wise, doesn't Hi. look as nice as this one. Sequins look a, not, not cheap, but they don't look as luxurious. This neckline, I'm interested to see if this is itchy because when I got my dress, I also had this sort of mesh neckline that had lace coming up and I had to get the seamstress. She actually had to trim around the edge because there was so many little spiky things. She had to trim it for me. So I wonder if that's going to be itchy. This is probably the closest to my own wedding dress because it's got the same detail at the front, but mine had more of a plunging neckline. How rude. We've also got, we've got lace panels coming down. Are these glued on? No, these are sewed on as well. So I think that these flowers, I'm pretty sure they're all hot glued on by the looks of it. The back looks very interesting to me. This is what really caught my attention. It's got this sort of lace here, comes down to a point and then it laces up. No zipper with this one either. Oh my gosh. I, I don't think that the train on this one is as long as the train on that uh, one we just showed. No cups. Or are they cups? Kind of cups? They're not proper structured cups. These actually look like they're gonna be kind of uncomfortable. It's got like boning on the inside, but feeling it from in here, it's kind of lumpy and I feel like it's gonna stick into me in funny places. So see how that goes. But uh, this one, I wouldn't have thought this would be worth as much as that. I'm very surprised that this is the most expensive one. What's this one called? This one is called <laughs> Embroidered Long Sleeve Wedding Ball Gown. Okay, and how much is it? 372 US dollars and 542 AUD. Okay, yep, yep, the most expensive. Again, I guess if, if you have a budget and you can only afford under $1,000, maybe it could be worth it. So with all of that, now that we've looked at them all, let's start trying them on. Okay, I haven't looked at myself in the mirror yet, so I'm not entirely sure what I look like. I can just tell you, fit-wise, this actually feels like it wouldn't need to be altered for me. <laughs> to give you guys an idea, I normally wear an Australian size six, so I'll put up a size conversion chart so you can see. This around here feels like it's fitting really, really nicely, but Tiasha noticed while I was getting into it, at the back where it's got this detail up here, this isn't doing up properly because it's quite loose on me, which means that there's nothing to keep the tension, so it keeps popping open. So that could be a little bit of a problem. Hmm, what do you think? I think he likes it. I'm not sold. But I do have to remind myself this is 150 Australian dollars, like 100 US dollars. So you know what? Maybe if you took this to a seamstress, so for my body, what, do you want to go up there, do you? You're, you're, you're all done? No, no, no. Yes? Make up your mind. If you took this to a seamstress and it wasn't fitting you properly, I'm sure they'd be able to help you fix it. And if you only spent a hundred and something dollars on the dress, you could probably afford a couple, a hundred or, you know, whatever on alterations. I'm noticing around here, it's not fitting. It's not fitting well. Even though on my silhouette feels quite nice, I didn't realize that it was doing this like bunched up weirdness here. I'm also not such a fan of this part up here. This just looks like it's kind of awkward. It doesn't look like it's the right cut. What do you think, Tiasha? I think that that might not be a fault of the dress. It might just be like it's not made for your body type. 
True. That's true. Yeah. I feel like for you, it should be going inwards rather than outwards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At least this is the sort of thing where if you did take it to a seamstress, they might be able to make alterations. That might look nicer if it was thinner, for example. If both sides were thinner. Look, that makes a difference. Imagine if it, if it was pinched in like ah! that. Wow. Now, now it feels like a completely different dress. Yeah. And I think that suits me a little bit better than having the super wide one. But some people might like to cover up a little bit more up here. So if I was wearing heels, this would not touch the ground and you'd be able to see my shoes underneath, which can be good, might not be good depending on your shoes. And also depending on where your wedding is, if you're having a garden wedding, maybe you don't want it to touch the ground. Maybe you like that really long flowy look and you would want it to touch the ground. So it's a little bit difficult to say, but I almost feel like this is a good starting place. If you don't have a huge budget and you can afford a $150 dress, you can kind of build it from there. You could go from this point and add or take away, alter as you need to. Let's have a look at the back. So unfortunately those clips are not staying done up. Yeah. Can you come and like do it up a little bit and try and yeah. hold it so they can see? Oh, they're saying that up now. Oh. What? If I move, I wonder if they... No, they're doing up now. Okay, okay we're, well, not, we're not crazy. We're not crazy, I we're, swear. They were doing a up. Maybe I've just kind of like shuffled a little bit and now it's sitting Maybe properly. the dress is sitting better now that you're like properly in it. Who knows? But okay. Yeah, they're doing up. So that's it from the back. If the issue now becomes with the top fake button. Because there's no latch, it's just kind of spread open and you can see the zip Can you up. see the zip? Yeah. Yeah. I can see where this is going and I feel like with alterations you could make this really, really good. I reckon I'm confident enough to say I do recommend this, not as is, but I recommend it as a starting point. And if you're a seamstress yourself, you may not even need to spend any extra money to make this right. So it's a good starting point. Tiasha is going to show me the pictures because I feel like we, we need to see. And we'll put the picture up on the screen and Tiasha will make her observations. Okay, so my observations immediately are in the photo, it's more of a cream color. Whereas in person and on camera, it's coming across like just white. Oh, okay. It's actually like a champagne color in the photo. Really? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Secondly, the applique looks much cheaper in real in real life. Oh, you mean all, all of these lace yeah, details? Yeah. In the photos, like the bottom bit looks like it comes up way further. Oh, and really? Then, yeah, it just looks nicer. It's supposed to train a little bit, but for you it's just grazing the floor. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah. I feel like this would be much nicer if it had a proper train. Train, yeah. Aww. But other than that, like I guess the neckline about, oh, too. Can you oh, see the, the back? back? Okay, so in the photos it looks like the backs are real buttons. The <laughs> then in, there's no hint of a Loops zip. into something? <laughs> you can't see a zip? No. Yeah, okay. I always wonder with um, dresses on YesStyle, like prom dresses and wedding dresses, because they're obviously not the ones in the pictures, I feel like the ones in the pictures have probably come from, you know, proper bridal boutiques and then YesStyle recreates them, but I never know where the original is actually from. So do you reckon as far as like a copy goes, do you think that this is a good copy of whatever they're They've showing? Done well yeah. to make a budget version of whatever this designer was. A budget version, yeah. For me, the cut, I like a, a more sort of poofy base. I do like the style of the top though. So I think if we were to alter it a little bit up here, and if we were to maybe fix up that button situation at the back, mm. this one would be really good, I would say. $150 costs more to buy a lazy oaf dress than it would cost to buy this. What do you think? Okay, based on price and look and comfort, how comfy are you? Super comfortable. This Super is comfy. so comfortable. <laughs> I yeah. would give it like a seven. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say seven. As I'm trying all of these on and giving you guys full length shots, I'm going to be pairing them with a veil that came with one of the dresses and with this bouquet. Now, uh, unfortunately for me, I dropped the bouquet and I destroyed it. How much was this bouquet? It's sold out. So is it sold out? Price, yeah. I'm pretty sure from memory, it was $50. 50 US dollars or maybe like 40 US dollars. I can't quite remember. I will investigate and find the price and put it on the screen. In the pictures, it looked quite pretty. I guess from a distance, it doesn't look too bad. I made my own bouquet at my wedding. I used baby's breath, ranunculars, chrysanthemums, and white roses, little white roses. And then we just sort of tied it all up with some sticky ribbon. I was perfectly happy with that. We had a different colored bouquet, a pastel color for each of my bridesmaids. We used different colored baby's breath, depending on the color of the dress that the girls were wearing. When I eventually post, 
When I eventually post my wedding video, you guys will get to see it. I just picked up this one because I didn't want to go to the florist and get flowers. So don't be too judgmental about the bouquet that I'm pairing with everything. But if you were considering getting a fake bouquet, like a fabric bouquet, this would have been good if I hadn't ruined it. So you can probably see in here, it's got like a polystyrene backing and then it's got this stem, which is the stem that you hold. And it was a stiff stem, but now it's gone all floppy. It was originally sort of on this angle like this. You could hold it here and it wouldn't see how now it's sitting like dead up and down. It was sort of sitting at this nice angle like that. But yeah, it, it's busted and broken now. So, um, and also it's got this sort of pipe sticking out here, which doesn't look so great. And it's just in general average. I mean, I put together my bouquet, I reckon for $20. I would say I'd, like the flowers that I picked up, they were super cheap. I just bunched them all together. Didn't spend very much money. If you want to go to a florist, you do you, but I didn't want to pay heaps of money for a bouquet. So that's why I made it myself. But if you want to get one that'll last, obviously these flowers aren't going to die. So maybe have a look at fake or silk bouquets or whatever. I've photographed a few weddings with uh, brides that have silk bouquets and they can look really, really nice. Anyway, this one, it was a shame that uh, the second that I dropped it, the whole thing smashed. So for all of them, I'm going to be trying on just the same veil and this bouquet, just to give you an idea of what the whole thing looks like. Okay, I'm half in dress number two, but we definitely need the back to be done up. So I'm gonna need Tiasha's help, and this is where your bridesmaids probably come in handy, or your mom or something, because you can't do this on your own. I was able to get into that one by myself, totally fine, but this one, we, we need a bit of help. I just apologize in advance for my lacing skills. Is it not so good? It's, look, it definitely could look better. Well, it's better than I could have done. It's, uh, whew. Oh, did I lace this up the wrong way? Cool, what do you cool, mean? cool, cool. I think you're supposed to start at the top, bottom. I mean, the top and go downwards. And I went upwards. Cool, 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 cool. That's fine. Sorry. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, I do think you probably should have started at the top. <laughs> and gone down and then you tuck the bow in at the bottom right. but if we just pretend that she didn't do that but it looks pretty yeah it looks fine okay so tiasha with the expectation ah. image can you check because it's got these little sort of stretchy things and i wasn't sure if they were supposed to sit like this or if they're meant to sort of just fall down and hide under this they straight up don't exist in the photos okay so, yeah. right okay so these things are probably supposed to be down here i guess so it's supposed to be off the shoulder yeah okay but only issue is that this hangs down so far and I can't make this strappy thing hang down any further uh -huh. so maybe you're supposed to sew it to it maybe but you know what with that hanging down I actually don't mind this as much I was really like bagging out on this dress but in the mirror from a distance I actually really like that it cinches in here and then it puffs out like that I think that it's creating a really nice silhouette and I think in pictures on your wedding day this might potentially come across quite nicely in photos. You're behind the screen, ah. so you can tell me what it looks like on the camera. It looks really pretty. I still think the flowers stand out and make it look really cheap. If the flowers weren't there... These the, ones? The ones on the skirt. Oh, these flowers, yeah, yeah. They're really just like an eyesore. Well, okay, so something that I did... I got a secondhand veil. Ah. I actually bought it from an op shop. And we went to a seamstress, we showed her the lace on my Hi. wedding dress and she had some lace panels that were very similar to my lace and she put them around the base of my veil. It was quite easy for her to add that on. If you were crafty and you didn't mind doing it, if you are good at sewing or if you wanted to go to a seamstress, you could probably pick off the flowers. If you like the rest of the dress, if you love the shape, and again, think of it like a template, a good place to start, because I really like the silhouette and I love that the dress actually puffs out the skirt. I didn't have to get an extra petticoat or anything. It's puffing out really nicely. Can I can, can I can I have that? If you put that back on the rack, everyone will be very impressed. Can you can you put it back? Subscribe for the bird that can uh, hang up your clothes. No! Ah! <laughs> I 
I think as a starting point, it's actually got a great silhouette. This is really nice. If you wanted to pick off the flowers and put some different details, a seamstress for like $100 or maybe $200 could possibly add details that you prefer to have. I know a lot of people that have made really clever alterations to their dresses, especially if they've got them secondhand, for example. I think you could work with this, but my favorite thing about this, I really like, I just, this is really, really pretty, the way that this falls in like multiple layers. I think it's really lovely. What do you think? Oh yeah, Archie's just, he thinks they're seeds on strings. No, 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 no. No. You go over here, you menace. As long as you don't have any birds there on your wedding day, I mean, maybe if you're gonna release some doves, they might all swoop on you and try and peck the seeds off your corset. But aside from that, I'm not mad. Let's have a look at the back. Wow, whoever did that lace up. <laughs> Genius. I love that it's different to usual. <laughs> it's unique. So it looks like the back paneling's ridden up a tiny bit. Oh, it has too. Yeah. So you may need to pin that in place. It has ridden up. It doesn't have the biggest train. It actually doesn't really have any train at all on me. The next ones we're gonna be trying on do have trains. This one, not really any train, but that would probably make it easier to dance and to move around on the day. Lengthwise for my height, Lengthwise for my height, this one I wouldn't need to alter because if I was wearing high heels, this would be a perfect height for me. If you're shorter than me, you would probably need to get this altered. I know to adjust the height of my wedding dress, I think it cost $200 or something for the lady to go around and adjust it, but mine was kind of fiddly because mine had lace all along the base of it. She had to take off all the lace, then reduce the length, then she had to sew all the lace back on. So that's why it was the price that it was. I think if you were just going for a straight up just like adjusting with no trimming of lace or anything like that. I think that this would be a relatively easy adjustment. First glance for me, um, it's a different color again. It's more blue. Oh, in the picture it's blue. In the picture it's more blue, yeah. Okay. But other than that, it's actually pretty close. How's she posing? She's posing like this. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm impressed. You're impressed? So what do you rate this? The flowers just make me angry, so... I don't think it's as good as the last one, but I'm gonna say six. Six? Okay. I will agree with you. I think that your judgment of like six out of 10 is pretty accurate because the flowers are just really silly and they kind of detract. So the issue is there's so many flowers on the bodice here. It'd be impossible to get rid of all of those. It would be easier to get rid of these ones. Kind of difficult to get rid of these. The bodice ones don't bother me though because they kind of blend in and make it look like lace almost. Okay. But yep. the ones on the stand out so much. It looks like a flower girl dress. Yeah, yeah, okay. I am going to say, this is 250 Australian dollars, is it? 245 Australian dollars, yes. I'm gonna say it's worth it. I reckon if you spent $200 just fixing it up, this would be a $400 dress. And I'm gonna save as someone that paid three grand for their dress, if I had a lower budget, and I could only spend 500 bucks on a dress, I'd get a $250 dress and alter it the way I liked it. I think I would. If you guys know of like cheaper wedding dress brands that are really, really good, like not something out of China, for example, leave them down in the comments below. I'm sure that there'd be a lot of people that are getting married that are interested in finding new brands and stuff. So please leave any links down below. Personally, I didn't see any wedding dresses in that store where I was trying them on. I didn't see any under $1,500. So this gets a pass from me and when we make the next video where we take photos out in you know a really beautiful location and I might be able to get my husband, I might be able to convince him to come in a suit and take pictures with me, I, I have a good feeling. I think that this would photograph very, very nicely. So this one, yeah, I reckon if it weren't for those flowers, I would give it a seven out of 10, but let's go with a six. Okay, I'm almost in dress number three, but again, I require assistance. <laughs> If you like, we can give up. No, 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 no. I'm so close to the end. We are not giving up. There's a lot of like weird empty space around my it's bum. It's so like, strange, yeah. I, I feel like I'm in a, You're gonna have in a, a little... tube and there's like a lot of room on the inside. <laughs> it's this really weird. looks a little big for you, I think, because even if this lace is up to its fullest, you can have a little dark tail <laughs> of like, corsetting. Dark tail. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Till the very next day. Bum, 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 ba dum. I actually quite like the duck tail. Like I'm looking at myself this from the side. Out, yeah. Look, I look like a. If I'm from the Elizabethan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you hear Archie laughing just then? Like really softly. All right. You did it. Good lord. Okay, I'll tell you what. From the side, looking in the mirror, 
I actually love that it puffs out so much. I think that's so cool. It's so flattering. First thing I noticed, the armholes. I went to get Archie and I can't. This is supposed to be off the shoulder. It's not meant to be on the shoulder, but if it was on the shoulder, I'd be able to move my arms. I, I just, I can't. And I can't imagine how a seamstress could possibly fix that because like you, I don't know, I guess you'd have to maybe do something at the back there. Maybe like, I can't even reach it. Maybe snip it and then add in some sort of like elastic ah! thing. I don't know. I don't know how you could fix that. But if you wanted to dance in this, can I borrow you, Tiasha? <gasps> okay, maybe you should stand. You look quite dainty though. Do you reckon? I think my little T-Rex arms, I, I think it's actually like a misogynistic thing, not to bring it up, like not to bring feminism into it, but like it's very dainty for women not to be able to move, you know? Like, ah, yeah. It's quite feminine. That's like, true. Yeah. That's true to have restricted movement. Yeah, there. exactly. If your partner is quite tall, you probably can't reach their shoulders. If they're, if you have, if you have a, sh a partner that's shorter than you, you're going to be totally fine. But if they're, you know, up here somewhere, you can't lift your arms and you can't gracefully touch their face to kiss them or anything. Uh, even potentially putting the ring on them. When you lift up your fingers to go put the ring on, you might struggle. So I have no idea how a seamstress would fix that. Leave your clever ideas in the comments down below. But yeah, look, yeah. Sorry. So looking at myself in the mirror, my issue with this dress, I wasn't such a fan of this strange, like how it's white and then it's got this off-white detailing because to me, I thought that it looked like it was just a little bit old. Like if someone said to you, oh, you know, where'd you get your dress? And if you said to them, well, it was my grandma's, they'd be like, ah, yes, I see, like it's aged and it's gone a bit yellow. Obviously, some people don't wear white dresses, they wear cream colored dresses, but it looks more purposeful than this. this doesn't look purposefully cream. It looks like some of the lace has gotten dirty. At least that's how I see it. Maybe you guys might see it differently. Maybe I'm just being super critical. I'm not sure. But I'll tell you what, I absolutely adore this. This I had the same sort of thing on my wedding dress where it came down with a little lace panel. Comes down, my one came down to kind of like here with the lace. I love the off shoulders. I would have liked this even more if this had sleeves, but that's my own personal choice. The skirt is super voluminous. I like that it laces up at the back, which means you don't necessarily have to alter it. You just have to pull the lace a little bit tighter. And if throughout the night, if you eat your dinner at your wedding and then you need to loosen up the lace a little bit to give you some more room, you can. Alterations wise, this would be an absolute nightmare to alter. This is the same as my wedding dress. See how it's got lace trim all along the bottom? So when they go to pull up the hem to make it shorter for you, they actually have to unpick all the lace around the entire hemline, take the lace off, then they've got to trim this under, under mesh bit, and then they've got to put the lace back on. Because you can't just trim it or like, you can't just sort of fold it up and sew it with the lace like that. So for an alteration like that, it would probably be a few hundred dollars. And this dress already is a couple of hundred dollars. How much was this one? 320 USD, 465 AUD. I think this is 100% worth $400 Australian dollars. If you told someone like, oh yeah, I got this dress for 400 bucks, they'd be like, excuse me, you did not. If this was on a mannequin in a shop front and I drove past, I would be instantly drawn to this dress. Even when you get up close to it, it doesn't give off like poor quality vibes. If I showed someone this dress, if I walked out, I didn't know how much it was, and then I said, how much do you think this is worth? I think people would easily say like a thousand dollars. Do you reckon? I think so too, yeah. The only thing that gives away that it's not quite is the he the lace hem. The lace hem. Because they haven't cut it around the lace edges. If you hold up the, the hem and see how like it curves, but they haven't cut the, the netting under it to shape to the lace. It just sticks out. Oh yeah. So that like caught my oh. eye immediately, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Like it's supposed to be the shape of the lace as it curves, but it's just straight. Oh, okay, yep. If I was on a budget, I would totally have worn this on my wedding day. I've, I'm not just saying that. I can just imagine the comments now, like a oh, pretty pastel please is so stingy and she thinks that cheap things are so nice, but they're ugly. <laughs> Look, each to their own. I like it. Maybe you don't. I really, really like it. And I'm sure there will be other people that like it too. Would you get it though, knowing that you can't move your arms? Like if you had tried it on in the store? Oh, even I just forgot. Yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> You're right. You can't move the arms. Literally, I can't even like touch the top of that hanger. If I was going to put Archie up there, you gotta, I gotta like lean. Oh. It looks so good, but I think that would be a deal breaker for me. I don't think it would be a deal breaker because 
I think there's probably some clever way that you could alter it. I'm not a seamstress, so I don't actually know. So from the back, that's what it looks like. And then as you sort of bring it around, so I can't really see a spot where you could possibly Ow. trim it and add in some sort of elasticy bits. I'm not sure. I reckon the best spot would be right at the very back there. You could possibly add in like a lace panel or something. I'm sure if you took it to a seamstress that knows what they're doing, they would probably have some clever sort of alterations. This wouldn't be the first time that they've seen someone who can't lift their arms. I'm sure that there'll be people in the comments that'll say, I had the same problem with my wedding dress. If that happened to you, if you couldn't lift your arms in your dress, how did you cope with it? Did you just put up with it? Did you have it altered so that you could lift your arms? I would give this an eight out of 10. Maybe even pushing it to a nine, but... Do you want to see the expectation for this? Yes. It's like not the same dress, right? <laughs> Wait, let's look. It's hard to tell from this, but like, yeah. Okay. The train, the colour, the neckline. If you were expecting that dress and you got this, I don't think you'd be that happy. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, they, yeah. Even they highlight the neckline. Oh, uh, yeah, the yeah. Same neckline. No, it's not the same neckline. Oh, okay. Mm, are you sure? Is that really this dress? Yeah, and you, look at this. This is the craziest photo I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so let's say that the train is definitely not the train in the pictures. Okay, think about it this way. If you went into a shop and you tried on this dress, I think you'd be very happy. But if you ordered it expecting that, you wouldn't be happy at all. So I guess that's why it's good that I'm doing this video, because at least if you see this and you think that this is the right dress for you, you actually see what it, it looks like now that I'm wearing it. Can you imagine, it's your wedding, you order a dress online, you spend $500 or whatever, it arrives, it's not right. I mean, how many times are you gonna go through that where you order something, it comes, you don't like it, you return it, you order something, it comes. That's a lot of stress. But again, if you're on a tight budget, it, it could be worth going through that. I don't know, I didn't go through that myself, but let me know what you guys think down below. I think now that I've seen the photo, I would, I would maybe give this an eight out of 10. Okay, so because, you still like it more. Yeah, because I gave that one a 7 out of 10, and yeah. this is way better. It is better, but it's more expensive. So it it's is more expensive. Like, it could be the same rating. Okay, maybe a 7 out of 10. I would say, for me, it's a 6.5, because I don't like that you can't move your hands. I think that's really impressive. Ah! And it seems... It, <laughs> Artie agrees with me. Um, we're both connoisseurs of wedding dresses, and we know what we're talking about. The veil that we've been trying everything on with so far is the veil that came with this dress. Uh, let's put these gloves on because they came with it too for some strange reason. Yeah. Not really much at all. Yeah. I... Why? 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 I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, well, the back. Tiasha laced this one up from the top this time down and then we tucked in the excess ribbon into the dress. I actually love how this sort of sticks out at the back. I personally love that. I know some people probably don't, but I feel like, you know, when you have any sort of insecurities about your body, if you have a super exaggerated base and the tighter waist, even if you don't have an hourglass figure, it creates one. And I think that's so pretty. So I really, really like this back. The train, obviously it's not the train from the pictures, but I'll tell you what, as a wedding photographer, if you know a little bit about cameras and lenses, if you use a lens like a 16 to 35 on a full frame camera, and then you place in the lower third of the frame, the train of the dress, because of the way that the lens distorts, it will actually make the train look wider. I've done that a lot in wedding photos. You just have to put the train in the bottom third of the photo. All lenses have a bit of distortion, but wide angle lenses have the most distortion around the edges. That's why if you take a selfie, for example, with a wide angle lens, your forehead will look like really, really long. It just sort of elongates things on the edges and it makes the center of the image look really small. So that is a way that you can sort of uh, pull that off. So I, when we photograph this in the next video with a wedding photographer, we will do that. We will show you how you can potentially make it look a bit more like that in the pictures. I almost feel like that's how they do it in a lot of photos. The trains are never actually as big as they appear in photos. It's just clever photography. But all in all, I, this is my favorite one so far. Even though it's been the most expensive so far, it is my favorite. <laughs> I feel like, again, the top, it's not quite there. Imagine like a deeper V coming down here. 
This has this lace coming across here, and I'm actually really happy this isn't scratchy. On my own wedding dress, even though it was so expensive, the lace was really, really itchy. This isn't itchy at all. This one, unfortunately, I feel like the bodice is a little bit boxy. Do you reckon if you drew like a line here and here, it, it's almost like it's making a square? It's, it's not as cinched as it could it's be. It's not as cinched as it could be, and it's not as soft or elegant as it could be. This doesn't have as long a train as what the other one had. This is definitely easier to move in. This is also quite short, so this is going to just not even touch the ground when I'm wearing heels while I'm walking which could be good for some people, might not be good for others. This wouldn't be anywhere near as difficult to adjust because there's no lace along the bottom. You could easily sort of have a seamstress trim off the lace at the base. There's no embroidered lace at the bottom, so that would definitely save you a bit of money. What I really am not so fond of with this one, I feel like all the lace and beading and sequins and all that on the sleeves and on the bodice, I. I don't think it looks right. I don't think it looks luxurious. I think it looks a little bit cheap. From a distance, it's got a nice bit of sparkle though. I can see in the mirror. I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera, but it's super sparkly in the mirror as I move. It's like glistening. It's like one of those apps where you add the sparkles to things. It, it seems like that. It almost feels a little bit like claustrophobic at the top. Like I feel like there should be a little bit more skin showing or something. It's just not quite right. But again, something you could probably work with. But in terms of price, the other one should have been more expensive than this. This isn't worth, this one's like, what, 500 and something? This one is 372 USD, 542 Australian. No, I don't think this is worth it. For, I would have paid 500 and something dollars for that dress I just tried on, but not for this one. This isn't worth it, I don't think. Because you would need to alter it, or at least I would need to alter it to make this the right sort of dress, I wouldn't pay that sort of money. But hey, there could be someone out there watching this that thinks that this is the perfect dress, and their budget might be $500, Australian dollars, remember? 300 and something US. Some people might like the very long sleeves. I think that it just looks a little bit more dated when they're that long. There's some very interesting detail on them though. So it's got these little teeny tiny beads and it's got lace and it's got sequins. It's an interesting look. I really like how sparkly it is. This one sparkles the most out of all of them, which is a really nice touch. The... I think if they put less detail on the sleeves, it would almost look nicer, don't you reckon? I agree. Yep, I think so. Let's have a look at the expectation reality photos because as this is at the moment, I'm not, not so keen and I'm, I reckon that looking at the pictures it's going to be even worse. Ah! Yeah. I feel like it looks like almost identical. No. For me, I'm like... No, the neckline. I'm noticing a big difference in the neckline. Look at the shape of the neck. I think that neck almost... I don't know, is it like higher up here? Hers sits right on her collarbone. Like Does it? Oh, yeah. okay. Hmm. For me, the only massive difference is that. Oh boy. Okay, yeah. The the train, the train is not like that. Um, even clever photography isn't going to make the train look like that. The train just isn't that big. It's not that long. What about the lace? Have a look at the front. Look at the lace paneling on the front. Mm -hmm. Because to me, that lace paneling doesn't look ah! right. What do you think? For me, it looks really random, like it's just yeah. been stuck on the front. Yeah. Mm -hmm. However, the expectation photo, it also looks like that. Does it? It sure does. Uh, I guess so. I guess it does. Uh, so it's like, if you like the photo, I don't think you'll be disappointed with the dress. True, true. I guess it's similar enough to the photo. It's not like that one where it was quite different. It is similar, I would say. But look, I don't see why anyone should spend more to get this dress when they could get that dress. I mean, unless sleeves are a deal breaker for you. If you really need sleeves, obviously that dress wouldn't do. None of those dresses would do. I'm gonna give this one five out of 10, or six, five, four? It's hard, because you've already spent more money than it would cost to like buy the other dresses and tailor them. What's your score? What's your rating? I actually was gonna give it one of the highest ones, not because of what it, because it is the most realistic to the photo, and if someone likes that style, that's almost exact. Like they're getting the dress they want for five hundred and forty dollars, whereas all the other ones you've been like, I've got to alter this and change this and do that. This one's like exactly what it was promised. Fair enough. I think that's very solid. <laughs> Just because personally you don't like it the most doesn't mean right. That's true, that is true. And who knows, maybe when we go out and do the photography, maybe this might look better, because obviously I'm just looking at myself in this mirror, mm. and it's a very narrow mirror. 
I can't see myself from a distance properly. I don't even have my glasses on, so I'm just kind of like a big white blur at the moment anyway. So maybe when we go out and we take pictures for the next video that we make, maybe I will like this more. Maybe. My personal rating, I would say maybe a five out of 10. And I'm giving you an eight. But I guess we can't agree on everything, right, Tiasha? <laughs> this has an unusual back. This has a very, very open back at the top and then like a straight cut. Now it's unusual, the inside of this dress actually has a pinkish tinge to it and you can kind of see it here, but you can't really notice it anywhere else. The ribbon's pink and like the inner flap is pink as well. But I'm really not very keen on the back. I don't like how the sleeves, the lace just like ends here. That looks really awkward. If the lace went all the way down, I think it would be a bit nicer. I can't imagine how you would make this a better back though. But yeah, it just kind of looks like the sleeves. It's almost like those costume sleeves where you pull it on and you just like leave them there with elastic. It kind of looks like you're wearing costume sleeves because they're not- It is strange that they wouldn't just do it all the way. Yeah, I don't know why they haven't. I like the lace detail. It is nice. It's not a very long lace up. I like when it's quite a long sort of lacy detail. I think it's very elegant and pretty. The back, yeah, the back is definitely losing points for me. Oh dear. Okay guys, that's it. That's everything. I hope you liked today's video. Please let me know in the comments below which dress that you think was the best. There was one other dress that was meant to come. I was going to review five. There was one that was even more expensive than these. It was probably about 600 and something Australian dollars. It was this dress here. Unfortunately, it didn't come. I think maybe it sold out or I don't know. But anyway, I'm still pretty happy with the selection that I reviewed today. So as a recap, all of these are dresses that uh, I'm interested in these styles. Obviously not everyone likes these sort of styles. So keep an eye out for my AliExpress wedding dress video. There's some pretty cheap wedding dresses in that one and I do show a lot of different styles. Lots of different cuts and shapes and sleeve lengths and hemlines and all things like that. So keep an eye out for that video. Give us a thumbs up on this one if you liked it and if you want me to make more wedding dress videos. Obviously I'm married now so I'm not looking for my own wedding dress and what I'd really like to do is uh, at some point gather up all these wedding dresses and then sell them. I might go to uh, a market or something. There's a market in Sydney called Glebe Markets and I might just set up a stall there and sell them and then all the proceeds I'll put to charity. In January I was doing a, a big drive for bushfire charities in Australia and uh, we raised over $30,000 on GoFundMe and we raised almost $20,000 at a charity event that I hosted. There was a girl that came to my charity event that bought her wedding dress. It was one of the prom dresses from Yes Style that I'd reviewed in the past. It was that black one and she bought it for her own wedding dress and she was so happy. I think that we sold it to her for like $40 or $50, I can't remember. Anyway, all the money from that event that I hosted, all that went to charity. And this time, because I'm gonna end up with like 20 wedding dresses throughout this process, so I'll put information up eventually when I plan it, but I'll probably just hold a market stall and people can come pick up the dresses and I'll put all the money toward charity. And uh, if you're my size, like a size small, or even I reckon a size medium for some of these with the lace up backs you could probably fit into. Some of them, even if they're small and you're not a size small, maybe if you took it to a seamstress, you could possibly have it altered. So keep an eye out for the details about that eventually. Uh, it won't be soon, it'll be once I've sort of finished up reviewing all the wedding dresses from all the various websites. I don't know where I'm gonna store them between now and then, but uh, I'll figure that one out. <laughs> so with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't defer it, it. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you know the next time that I post a video. You can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Pretty Pastel Please. Thank you so much to YesStyle for gifting me these dresses. If you'd like to purchase any of them, the links that I have down below are affiliate links, so I'll make commission on any sales, but I never let that influence the way that I review things. I'm always very honest with you guys. And my final thoughts are that I think dress number one, the cheapest dress for the price was excellent. And I think dress number three, even though it was more expensive, I personally loved the way that it looked. Didn't look quite like the expectation photo, but I still think it's a really, really pretty dress. So tell me down below which dresses you guys liked the most. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!